What's happening, Fresh Bake? We're back with another update on construction progress going on around the Disneyland Resort, or more specifically, in this moment, uh, Avengers Campus in DCA. And we'll start, as always, with this bland view of the Spider-Man attraction, which is showing us no progress whatsoever. Uh, but today I thought I would take this opportunity to, to show a little visual history of how these other buildings are evolving, and we'll pause right here to look first at this left side of the screen, the, the PIM... I already forgot what they call it. Pim Food. <laughs> We're going to look at the Pim Food building, which is this guy right here. And we'll go back. We're going to take this all the way back to January of this year when the tissue box, you can see right there in the corner, if we go back to the original picture, that's the tissue box right there. Back in January, it still was a tissue box and there was nothing. They haven't even finished clearing the land out behind that tissue box. So that's January of this year. Fast forward to March, tissue box is still there, but they've done a lot more land clearing and they're getting ready to, to start you know, setting up foundation. And you'll notice this wall right here, uh, that became very prominent in our, in, our, uh, in our view of this area, trying to figure out what their plans were. And this goes towards or went toward our thoughts about the future of the red car trolley, which we're gonna get to in a minute because there's a very important development with regard to the red car trolley, which we'll get to near the end of this video. Uh, but that's March of this year. And then this is uh, July of this year, July 20th. And that wall back there is still there. And you can, there you can see the tissue box as well. Uh, still, I mean, it's it's kind of a, a messy array of things going on there. And then just two months later, today, you've got you know, a third of the vertical construction complete. Matter of fact, there, most of the important vertical construction is done here because it now stands on its own. There's no support being uh, set up anywhere else. So they're just kind of filling out the skeleton, the bones of that building. So that's pretty neat. Continue to slide to the right a little bit. We'll take a look at what is the... I, I don't know what else to call this because it's not really an attraction building. This building right here, it's, it's going to wind up being the front of the Avengers e-ticket, whatever, whatever that winds up being. Uh, and I, I don't even really know what this building is going to contain <laughs> up until the Avengers e-ticket is built. But there you have it. That's the structure you know that they're building now that's going to have the Quinjet on top of it. Going back all the way to January again. <laughs> January of this year, just rubble. Nothing but rubble and dirt. Uh, if I recall, I remember noting how you could see this sort of, there's like three feet of below grade digging done there, which is pretty fascinating to me. If you, if you assume that that's, you know, that's grade level right there. Uh, and then we'll fast forward to March. Pretty neat. They've leveled it all out. All the land clearing's been done. Getting things ready again for uh, foundation work. Then you've, and obviously now you've got Mount Gamora and you can't really see what they're doing back there, but there is foundation work. Those, these earth movers in the back there were doing all that foundation work for that structure. You know, if we couldn't see anything before, which was, you know, it's just nothing's happening. Obviously things were happening, but it just didn't look like anything was happening. And then again, voila, up pops, you know, today, uh, this structure and that will eventually be the, the, the entrance, if you will. Maybe not the entrance, something like that for the Avengers e-ticket. I love doing those. I love doing before and afters. <laughs> I really do. Uh, and we're gonna pause or pan to the right here real quick to see if there's anything happening backstage where they're going to eventually build that e ticket. And here's a close up. We're just, this is the rest of this is gonna be close ups of the areas that we just observed just to see if there's anything worthy of note. But uh, it's all pretty busy, hard to uh, delineate details here. But I do see a lot of progress, and we're going to look at that one next week. A lot of progress on that building in the foreground, which is going to be, I think that's the uh, Spider-Man uh, bot store, whatever. Still a lot of earth movers around there, though, so they're not near done as far as that goes. Do you guys think this will be done by summer of 2020? I'm thinking winter myself. And there again... Is the Avengers building. Another close-up. We might look at this one in more detail also next week just to see how this has developed. This is where, our, you know, this, these were our first looks, if anything at all, 
uh, when we first started doing these. Another close-up of that Spider-Man bot merch shop. But you know what, enough of that. I want to go around to the other side of the building, the other side of the land, where Mission Breakout is, to take a look at this amazing development right here. Those are red car trolley tracks that are still here. That is new pavement. New paving stones have been put down. That was what was behind the wall. They pushed the wall back again. And they put those new paving stones are up and around the trolley tracks, which can mean only one thing. And that is they're not changing the route for the red car trolley at all. That sucker's going right back to where it was. I cannot imagine a scenario where they would redo those paving stones and not rip out that track at the same time if that was the, if they weren't intending to keep the track. I mean, why do that, right? So the track isn't going to turn left and go backstage behind Hyperion. It isn't going to turn right and go backstage. Well, actually, it could still turn right and go behind Pim Food, which is that building that you see just over those construction walls. That's Pim Food. Uh, it could still turn right, possibly, but it kind of looks like the track is going to be exactly as it was before. And so that goes towards Dustin's observation that you could, that, that they, that the track is going to, <laughs> it's going to go through that Avengers building when it goes backstage. Uh, where it parks, I don't know. That's still up for debate, but it, uh, uh it could park. Golly, how would they do that? They're going to, they might park that thing when dropping off guests it's going to drop off guests in Avengers Campus. Huh. Uh, there you go. So that's interesting. Um, moving on, they've also uh, are about ready to, it looks like, to reopen the Fast Pass distribution. They get a new paint job. I don't understand this paint job um, very much because it doesn't really evoke Mission Breakout, in my opinion. I. Uh, and this is, I mean, you might say, well, they're trying to blend it in with the land or whatever, but this is the Mission Breakout Fast Pass Distribution Center. I would have thought they would try to blend it in a little more with Mission Breakout's color scheme, at least. I mean, you don't have to make it all looking like an exposed circuit board or anything like that, but you could at least give it the same color scheme, but it's not at all. Uh, not only that, they didn't change as we continue. The luggage, the luggage deals are still the fast pass distribution machines. That's luggage. Let's look at those paving stones. Interesting little breakout pattern here. I want to play a game of breakout right now with this. That was a very difficult game. Uh, the trick is to keep the ball as flat as possible. You don't want it going vertical. You want it flat, super flat, because that way it gives you more time to catch up with the ball. Okay, here's a look at, there's pin food. Another close-up shot of that. That's the building that we can see right here. That's this building. Uh, and then across the way, that is the Avengers building right there. Uh, so I'm guessing, as Dustin pointed out, like we said, the, the, the red car trolley is going to go through the wall uh, and then turn left into that building and either park and drop off guests there and then, and then go through it to go backstage. And then just to the right, this area right here, that's where the... Uh, Quinjet will be parked right on top of that building right there. And to give you a, a sense of perspective, that's how it relates to Mission Breakout, right next. And then real quick over at Tomorrowland, uh, we've got a scrim over the Star Wars wall here. I'm not sure what they're doing here. Probably just clean up paint maybe uh, for that part of the wall. Here's another longer look. I don't really see anything of note occurring. You can't tell. But what we can tell is what's going on at Astro Orbiter. Uh, Ron, who, uh, who we met recently, uh, took his camera onto Astro Orbiter to get us a look over the walls. First two passes, not so great. But this third pass, he nailed it. So we'll pause right here. Uh, last week, the French Fry Rocks were still there. This week, French Fry Rocks are gone. You can see a little bit of the planner left right there. Uh, but those things are gone, and we'll see some paving stones and, and pavement there in very short order. Still no word on if they're going to put anything else there in their place or if it's just going to be an open entrance. Um, who knows yet? And then we'll continue a little further and pause again real quick. Um, you'll notice two things. The French Fry Rocks are still gone. 
that the EER thing building there is still there and we have no visible idea of what they might do to obscure that yet. And there's also a very handsome man in a green shirt waving at us. Uh, that is your host of Fresh Baked. That's me. Uh, I happened to I happened to catch Ron uh, riding the Astro Orbiter uh, while I was out doing other pickup shots for this week's videos, and I was trying to wave at him, and he didn't see me, but I saw him. So there you go. There's your your uh, your host for the show. And continue and stop again real quick to remind you that those French fry rocks are still there, but uh, expect to see those going away next. Uh, I wonder if they're gonna have to. They might have to block all of that whole Pixie Hollow area there. You know, we got to go to Pixie Hollow again one of these days. We haven't been there in a while. All right, and then we're going to wind up at the Toy Story parking lot where I took the camera with me on the bus to just see what we can see. It's very difficult to see anything uh, up close, but look at that. Okay, wait, hold on. we got to pause. This gives us our first idea of what the, what the transit or the hub area or whatever it is. They're going to build an area to funnel guests in a much more intuitive way than they presently do at uh at toy story parking lot you know for uh one thing that's it's going to be difficult or more difficult than the way they do it today to get guests into one if you're gonna because they're gonna do bag check here and if you're gonna do bag check then you've got to have sort of a, a finish line or a starting line and a finish line to where you know where guests are not clear and then clear uh and the only way to do that is to get everybody through the same funnel. There's no funnel currently at Toy Story. It's just a random, uh, you know, array of guests. They, there's, a, there's a queue to get on the bus, but not much beyond that. Uh, all guests are, are created equal or considered equal in that sense. So you can see those concrete pillars there are, are helping to create some definition. I would imagine that is the bus route. That's telling you don't go here. Uh, <laughs> stay away from that particular area. And then we'll continue on. Uh, nothing much to see there. And then we'll make our left around these buses and around that uh, fence to get a rear view, which will be in just a second. Here we go. That's the back side. It's kind of difficult to see here. I'm going to wait for this bus to pass, and then I think I might be able to pause. Oh, gosh, that's a lot of buses. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, hello? Okay, guys, I'm trying to do a construction video. Would you mind? Okay, there we go. Let's just pause right here. Difficult to see, even if we zoom in. But you get it, there you can see the concrete pillars again, and you get an idea of the size of this area that they're trying to build. Uh, it's gonna be a bus stop, bag check, and probably a restroom all in one. Uh, so that, that it's a pretty big space that they're developing here. And, the, and you can see they put a lot of concrete down here, new concrete and a new path for the buses. So they've made some definite progress in that regard. And then we'll continue because there's something else new to see as we, pro, as we oh, look at that. See that, that right there? That's the, this area right here looks very much to me to be something like a, a turnaround for the buses. They're going to they're gonna drive around this side and then turn to the left, take a U-turn around that. What, well, I imagine, I, I don't know what they're gonna put here. It seems like if they was gonna put a building there, they would be some kind of vertical construction at this point. So who knows, maybe it's a prefabbed, um, you know, like a manufactured home style structure that they're gonna put in that place as opposed to something with foundation or, I mean, well, it's all gonna have a permanent foundation, but with more foundation than, than, uh, than what is necessary. But that does look like to be a new, a newly built path there for the buses. We're heading over to the cast member side of this parking lot, which is going to be converted to guest use. Uh, cast members are going over to Pumbaa, if I understand correctly. If I recall, somebody had suggested that to me. And this has all been emptied out. It looks like they've put down new blacktop and painted new parking spots. That does look fresh and new. So they probably put down some new blacktop uh, for new guests. Now, on our way out here, just at the exit, I found something that I don't recall ever having been there before. I'm going to go wait a little bit. Let's move down a little bit here. Wow. So you're going to turn re immediately right. Right here. 
Yeah, we'll stop right here because this is a good view of what's going to happen. Right where we, we where we are now is the virtually the the very entrance to this parking lot from Catella. Uh, this was cast member only before, but it looks to me because this looks like it's been repaved and redrawn. This is all new paint here. Uh, that's new blacktop, and you can see the guests are probably going to turn. See that white arrow right there? The guests are going to make an immediate right turn upon entering this area of the parking parking lot. And if you're going to have them enter here, then they have to pay here. It's my guess. You're not going to make them go all the way around to the harbor side. And so way off in the distance, you can see two new, which I think they're new. I never really, you know, looked at these very closely, uh, this lot very closely before because it was always just cast member. But I don't recall those being there. Why would they need them if it was a cast member lot? But those are two toll booths right there. So I guess they'll be able to park here. Now, the next question is, are they going to have to walk all the way to the... Because you need... I think you can only have the one hub, right? They're not going to... They're, they're, they're going to put everybody, I believe, into that one guest hub that we're, they're building uh, at the other side. So the guests are probably going to have to walk through the parking lot and go to that go to that uh, that bus hub. But there you go, guys. That's our update from the Toy Story parking lot and from construction progress going on around the Disneyland Resort. I thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and tell all your friends to watch Fresh Bake because we have cool construction videos like this. This is cool, right? Or am I just the only one? I said that to, to Liz on the way in. I was really geeking out about those uh, toll booths and she kind of laughed at me and, and not in a fun way, more of a judgy, <laughs> you're a dork way. <laughs> but that's okay, I love her still. Uh, anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. Fresh baked. We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out some of our other videos and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Fresh baked.